summertime, summertime, sun. There's no. Okay, what are we doing here? This is uh, fun stuff. What I like doing is hacking stuff and repurposing it for stuff that it wasn't designed for. What this is, is a Microsoft Zune FM stereo transmitter accessory that you plug into a Zune. I wanted to repurpose it and make it so it could be used with anything as a standalone FM stereo transmitter for another source. So what you see here is we've got a uh, regular 3.5 jack added to this thing and I'll show you where that is in a minute. Uh, as you notice this has a digital readout. Uh, it's settable for any frequency you choose. You can see it goes off frequency so the radio is now picking up static. We have it set for 91.5. Now I have found that uh, there are some products that you uh, of these dedicated transmitters, like the one for the iPod, you can't repurpose them. Or at least I haven't found a way to do it. Now, taking the uh, jack off this thing, some if I can do it one-handed. Oh, come on. Okay, it's going to make me put the camera down. Hang on. There we go. Now I won't blow it. Oops, so what I'll do is drop it on the floor. <laughs> okay, here we go. When you, the first thing you notice about any of these transmitters is that the range is horrible. So, when you take these things out of the case, which, by the way, if you just run your fingernails around, or a small screwdriver, around the whole perimeter of this, the thing will pop apart. And the way it'll come apart is in two pieces. Uh, there is a... Right here. I'm doing this. I'm not... Uh, Come on, there you go. When you pop the two halves of the case apart, it's going to look like this. There's the front of it with the LCD display, here's the back of it. And on the back of it, you have the connectors, you have the connector that plugs into the Zoom, and you have the uh, two chips on the back here that are of note. This is the FM stereo broadcaster chip, and this chip here is a microscopically tiny. Uh, TEA5761, which is a Philips FM stereo receiver chip. And the reason this has a receiver in it is for only one purpose. That's when you set the, uh, when you set your broadcast frequency, if you hold down the button when you power it up, it will automatically uh, analyze this, the signals in your area and it will pick a frequency to broadcast on that's not occupied by a station. Pretty neat trick. But that's the only purpose of this little chip here. Now, to add an antenna to these things, you will see this right here. It says TP15. And there's a, 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 when this thing comes from the factory, there's a little gold connector that makes contact with the plated, uh, the copper plated plastic back. It's not enough of an antenna. So I solder a wire onto this. And uh, I put about a two-foot wire for an antenna, and that'll get you all around the house. And then what I did was to add line input. Instead of the Zoom input, you'll see TP26 and TP25 right down in here. There's two tiny copper dots, or actually they're gold, gold dots on the board. And you can't really see them now because there's wire solder to them. So I had the left and right input, hot wires from the input, and the ground wire from the input can just go to the shell of the original connector. Now you can add on the power. The power on these connectors, the, the pin connector here, pin 1, 2, and 3, are the plus 5 volts. And I'll see if I can get this in, in a better position. 
these two little capacitors here, C50 and C87 and C51. On the right-hand side of that, that makes a direct connection to pin 1, 2, and 3 of the connector. That's your positive input for voltage. The negative, of course, is ground. So I put a battery connector on this. It'll run on 3 volts. It's made for 5 volts. 5 volts is better. So that takes care of your voltage input to the transmitter. That's then your line input for the transmitter and the antenna output for the transmitter. And you snap the two halves back together again, and you have a working FM stereo transmitter that you can use for any purpose. The nice thing about these is the frequency that you select after you remove the power, it keeps that frequency in memory. It's non-volatile RAM memory, so that uh, you can hide this away. You can build it into a product for your car. You can do a lot of different things with it. You can have a lot of fun with it. So anyway, that's the Zune. Uh, that's the Zune. And uh, the Zune transmitter, rather. And this is the regular Zune, uh, which I've been using for a test mule. These are actually pretty decent, uh, little decent little MP3 players. Uh, it, you know, when you hook up with Zune, it automatically gives you the album art. Uh, if it has it in, on, in stock, it gives you album art. And uh, these things are very affordable now because uh, nobody wants them. They discontinue and they stop producing them, and I think in 2010. But uh, they're very well made, and uh, they're cheap to buy. But anyway, I'll review the Zune at a later date. This was just for the transmitter this time, and that's it for now.